Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for UNIST. I believe it's a university out of Korea. And they're talking about a new type of perovskite solar cell. Now, one thing about perovskites is they're pretty easy to manufacture when compared to traditional photovoltaic panels. Um, very cheap, easy materials to mine, typically. Problem is been stuck in the research phase for quite a while they haven't been terribly efficient although pretty good efficiency around 18 19 percent this new cell is about 23 and a half percent efficient and one reason for that is they have a filter on the top here that can convert uv light to ambient light or you know visible light and then absorb it into the solar cell so yeah 23 and a half percent efficiency is pretty darn good now another problem with perovskite solar cells is their durability now the old cells that they've talked about the previous generation they'll lose about 10 percent of their efficiency after five hours of use and 50 percent of their efficiency after 20 hours of use this new cell keeps about 91 percent of its efficiency after 120 hours of use now still that's nothing compared to the 20 year effective life of the average photovoltaic panel using uh, silicone based uh, technology but you know it's a huge improvement for over the five hours it used to take to degrade at 10 percent uh, it might have something to do with this new film i would imagine it, you know protects the cell a bit better have a long way to go but they're on the right track i'd love to see more perovskite technology in focusing on durability because yeah it, if you didn't know it takes a lot to make a photovoltaic power panel it's similar to the process of making a computer chip a lot of heat and pressure to use uh, to convert silica or silicone from you know sand and whatnot into a format that can convert and conduct electricity really well and there's not a lot of places around the world that can produce high grade silicone necessary to make PV panels. China is one of the world's largest producers. The Chinese government created a huge processing facilities, you know, through subsidies and whatnot, and basically put a lot of American companies out of business. And, you know, it's the Chinese panels, there's tariffs and whatnot on them, but they're usually just resold to other countries in that region, and then they sell, us, sell them to America, and they get around the, the tariffs that way. You know, it's arguable whether or not protectionism and tariffs actually uh, save jobs or even certainly probably don't advance the industry necessarily, but maybe they do. Um, I like to say survival of the fittest. Maybe American companies can find out a way to make better panels that are cheaper to build, quicker and easier to build with less rare earth materials and can last a long time. Perovskites could be a path towards that maybe it's a type of hybrid panel i've seen that where they combine a perovskite and pv panel in the lab but you know again this is the research phase long way to go the original photovoltaic panels i think were founded in the 1950s about 70 years ago and the costs of those have gone down dramatically in that time and the reliability has gone up so heck 50 years from now we're going to have some amazing technology i believe so I'm going to link to this article in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if you just have any experience with the solar technology you'd like to share, please comment below. If you'd like to learn more about living a more sustainable lifestyle from the grassroots up, visit my website, sustainabilitytheory.com. I'd love to help you out, grow more food, produce more energy at the local level so you can be more self-reliant. Hey, if you have anything else, leave it in the comments, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.